What are automated market makers? Did you know that robots already manage your money? But why didn't you notice it? And how is this possible? While you ponder over these questions, let me tell you more about decentralized exchanges and their special tool, automated market makers. First, let's understand what market makers are. A market maker is an organization that provides liquidity for a tradable asset on an exchange. Market makers buy and sell assets from their own accounts with the aim of making a profit, often through the spread, the difference between the highest bid and the lowest ask. Their trading activity creates liquidity, reducing the impact of large trades on the price. The concept of automated market makers was first introduced by Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin in 2017. In his blog, he defined AMMs as fully automated on-chain mechanisms that act as always available counterparties for people who wish to trade one type of token for another. An automated market maker is a mechanism of decentralized exchange that calculates the price of assets using a special mathematical formula and allows traders to directly trade them for personal wallets, eliminating intermediaries. Unlike order book exchanges where buy and sell requests from buyers and sellers accumulate, users interact directly with smart contracts, which automatically create the market. Assets price on decentralized exchanges with AMMs are determined by a formula which may vary depending on the protocol. The most well-known protocols are Uniswap, Curve and Balancer. Uniswap uses the formula X multiply Y U equal K, where X the quantity of one token in the liquidity pool, Y the quantity of another token, K a fixed constant indicating that the total liquidity of the pool should always remain constant. Thus, regardless of the current value of the two assets, their product should remain unchanged. For example, if a user wants to exchange Ethereum for USDC, they add a certain amount of Ethereum to the pool and receive a corresponding amount of USDC, based on the calculated exchange rate. Let's consider a pool with 100 Ethereum token A and 100 USDC token B. The exchange rate on the primary market is 1 to 1, and the constant K, the fixed product, is 10,000. Under these conditions, the pool must maintain the ratio of the two tokens in such a way that x multiplied y always equals 10,000. If a user buys one Ethereum, there will be 99 Ethereum left in the pool. To maintain the constant at 10,000, the pool must have 101.01 USDC. In other words, the pay for the purchase of one Ethereum, approximately 1.01 USDC, needs to be transferred to the pool. This price is close to the spot price because the user is buying only one Ethereum, resulting in a slight price distortion known as slippage. However, as the trade volume increases, the slippage will also increase. Let's assume that in the same pool someone wants to buy 20 Ethereum. If a user buys 20 Ethereum, there will be 80 Ethereum left in the pool. To maintain the constant product of 10,000, the pool needs to be replenished with 25 USDT. In this case, to buy one Ethereum, the user will need to deposit 1.25 USDC into the pool, which significantly deviates from the spot price. Such slippage makes the trade unprofitable for the trader, but there are two solutions to this problem. Increasing liquidity in the pool. The more liquidity in the pool, the lower the slippage for large orders. Any user can add funds to the liquidity pool. And the rewards in the form of LP tokens for doing so are determined by their specific protocol. Arbitrage. If the price of one Ethereum in the pool is 1.25 USDC, but on a centralized exchange one Ethereum can be bought for 1 USDC, traders can conduct an arbitrage trade by buying on the spot market and selling in the pool. This restores the asset balance and price to their initial levels. AMMs are not the perfect solution for DEX. Many first-generation automated market makers suffer from impermanent loss and low capital efficiency, which affects both liquidity providers and traders. Impermanent loss refers to the difference in value over time between placing tokens in AMM and simply holding those tokens in a wallet. This loss occurs when the market price of tokens within the AMM diverges in any direction. Since AMMs don't automatically adjust their exchange rates, they require arbitrages to buy undervalued assets or sell overvalued assets until the prices offered by the AMM 
aligned with the overall market price on external markets. The profits earned by arbitrators comes at the expense of liquidity providers resulting in losses. Traditional AMM schemes also require large liquidity volumes to achieve the same level of price impact as order book-based exchanges. Most of the liquidity will never be used by rational traders due to the strong impact on price. The above limitations are being overcome by innovative projects will, with new design patterns such as hybrid AMM, dynamic AMM, proactive market makers and virtual automated market makers. So, robots that manage money are automatic market makers. They are able to calculate the price of an asset using a mathematical formula and allow you to trade on the exchange without intermediaries. Learn more about crypto trending in our upcoming videos. Bye!